is how many moles are in 24.5 grams of sulfuric acid or H2SO4. Sulfuric acid is a molecule held together by covalent bonds. And in this problem, you're asked to find moles given a definite amount of grams of substance. And as we've stated before, we do not compare quantity of matter using grams. We compare quantity of matter using moles. So we first want to write down in the known unknown solution style of problem solving, those aspects of the problem that we're actually looking for. So we're actually looking for moles of H2SO4. And moles of H2SO4 are given in a unit of MOL of H2SO4, which is the standard international system unit for quantity of substance. We need to know certain elements of this problem. We know that the mass that you're given, the mass of sulfuric acid that you're given, is equal to 24.5 grams, which represents some amount of matter of H2SO4. So in essence, you're gonna be converting grams to moles. The bridge between grams and moles is molar mass. There are three types of molar masses, gram formula mass, gram molecular mass, and gram atomic mass. In this case, we're gonna be looking for, or need to use, gram molecular mass because H2SO4 is a molecule. So in your solutions pathway, you have to convert between grams of H2SO4 to moles of H2SO4. And that being said, the bridge between grams to moles is going to be the gram molecular mass of H2SO4. <clears throat> but as such, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to calculate the gram molecular mass of H2SO4 to do that, you're going to need to know the mass of two moles of hydrogen atoms, the mass of one mole of sulfur atoms, and the mass of four moles of oxygen. So you're gonna to have to turn to your periodic table to look up those individual gram atomic masses. The first gram atomic mass that you need to know is that for hydrogen, which is 1.00795 grams of hydrogen per mole of hydrogen. The second gram atomic mass that you need to know is the gram atomic mass of sulfur, which I hate to make you do, but that's 32.066 grams of sulfur per mole of sulfur. And finally, you need to know the gram atomic mass of oxygen from the periodic table, which is equal to 15.9994 grams of oxygen per mole of oxygen. You need to know what the gram molecular mass of H2SO4 actually is. So the first thing you're gonna do in your solution is to calculate the gram molecular mass of H2SO4. And quite simply, you're going to state that you're looking for the gram molecular mass, in some units we call grams of H2SO4. I like to make liberal use of subscripts to keep us on track and targeted with our solution. That being said, you need to recognize that in H2SO4, there are two moles of hydrogen atoms. And each mole of hydrogen atoms has a mass of 1.00795 grams of hydrogen. Conveniently, moles of hydrogen cancel out and you're left with grams of hydrogen. There's one mole of sulfur in H2SO4 
and you know that one mole of sulfur has a mass of 32.066 grams of sulfur. Again, moles of sulfur cancel out and you're left with grams of sulfur. And lastly, there are four moles of oxygen in H2SO4. And each mole of oxygen has a mass of 15.9994 grams of oxygen. And once again, moles of oxygen cancel, leaving us conveniently with grams of oxygen. So you need to know the products of those three expressions. The first of those products is going to be 2.0159 grams of hydrogen. So 2 times 1.00795 is 2.0159 grams of hydrogen plus 32.066 grams of sulfur plus the last term, 4 times 15.999 Four is a value of 63.9976 grams of oxygen. All three of those products sum, <clears throat> and you should limit your decimal places in your answer, <clears throat> excuse me, to the number with the fewest decimal places, which is 32.066. So when you sum these three answers, Let's see what we get. We have 2.0159 plus 32.066 plus 63.9976. The value that you get is 98.0795 grams of H2SO4. An issue is though, with significant figures when you add numbers, your answer can have no more decimal places than the number with the least, which is three. 066 is three, 0159 is four, and 9976 is four. So we need to drop the five, which makes this nine a zero, which rounds the eight to a, the seven to an eight. So our final answer, is 98.080 grams. And that being said, I want you to box that answer. So we're going to incorporate that up in our known section. So now we know the gram molecular mass of sulfuric acid is 98.080 grams of H2SO4 per mole of h 2 SO4. That being said, the second thing you're going to need to do now is to calculate the moles of H2SO4 present in 24.5 grams of sulfuric acid. So we're going to take the unknown section and paste that into our solution here because we're looking for the moles of H2SO4 and some value of MOL of H2SO4. And to complete this solution, to find moles of H2SO4, we always start with the value that we're given, which is 24.5 grams of H2SO4. We want to convert grams of H2SO4 to moles. The pathway through that is to use gram molecular mass as the bridge to grams to moles. So whatever unit we want to get rid of is placed in the denominator. We want to get rid of grams. So we're going to say that there are 98.08 zero grams of H2SO4 and one mole of H2SO4. And that conversion factor 
otherwise known as the gram molecular mass, will allow us to conveniently cancel grams and find our answer in moles because whatever unit you want to achieve, you put in the numerator and whatever unit you want to eliminate, you put in the denominator. <clears throat> so when we actually do this calculation, 24.5 <clears throat> divided by essentially 98.080 grams, we get a value of 0 0.2497 moles, <clears throat> excuse me, of H2SO4. That being said, when you multiply or divide measurements in scientific notation, your answer can have no more significant figures than the measurement with the least number of significant figures. So in this scenario, the decimal point is present using the Atlantic Pacific significant figure technique. You draw an arrow from the left or the Pacific till you get to the first non-zero digit, which is two. The two, the four, and the five are all significant. So this measurement has three significant figures. You do not use, once again, the significant figures in the gram molecular mass because that's considered to be a constant value. So the take home point is in your answer, your answer should only have three significant figures. And as you see, it has four, because if you draw an arrow through all the zeros till you get to the first non-zero digit, the two, the four, the nine, and the seven are all significant. So that's four sig figs, which we need to pare down to three. So we're gonna drop the seven, the nine becomes a 10, and the four becomes a five. So your final answer here is going to be 0 0.250 moles of H2SO4. Now that we've corrected for significant figures, <clears throat> I'd like you to change this into scientific notation. And we can do that by moving the decimal place one place to the right between the first two non-zero digits. And in doing so, you're making this number one power of 10 larger, which means the exponent for the 10 needs to be one power of 10 smaller. So your answer is 2.50 times 10 to the negative first moles of H2SO4. And we can box this off as our complete final answer. So that's how you change grams of H2SO4 to moles of H2SO4 using gram molecular mass as the bridge to go from grams to moles.